So welcome to the second part. Sorry, this last video ended quite uh, abruptly, but this is Jason, which was busy collecting uh, the images. Was really close to this underwater volcano, and okay. So this is an image of the submarine volcano. Now let's look at some autonomous underwater vehicles. Now these guys are not necessarily tethered to a ship, but they rely on the programming guide uh, for the mission. They normally are battery operated. Um, they're like submersible, but they obviously can't stay underwater for a long period of time. And they have like GPS system, and they can communicate uh, with back to the scientists. Now Benthic rover. He, this guy just did uh, 367 days on the seafloor, just uh, studying uh, the seafloor, and it, they're planning actually to take it to the uh, to Antarctica to measure the receding seasonal ice pack. And others, we got gliders. So gliders, they we went we went a bit through. Uh, we spoke a bit about gliders in the previous lecture. But so we've got surface gliders or wave gliders. These guys are known to go all the way down to 1,500 meters. And so in South Africa, in Cape Town, in our department, if you come to the office, you will see a little glider chilling on as you ride, as you walk past the front door. Um, so Sentry is one of the gliders, but it's known to go all the way to 4,500 meters. And Ilium, so this guy is not. Uh, I really want to show you this actually. You just need to watch it. guys as you can see they're like pretty cool hey eh? but um, we're not yet using them for um, science uh, but yeah they're just like really really cool and oops there I so hybrid vehicles so hybrid vehicles would basically combine the features of an ROV and an AUV so they could operate untethered or tethered with a thin optic fiber cable and operated by pilots aboard the ship. And one of them is the nearest. Um, and this guy was constructed as a research vehicle to operate at depth up to 11,000 meters. Now you'd notice 11,000 meters also people are so obsessed with the challenge of deep. Um, but on this dive, the nearest reach a depth of 10,902 meters, making the nearest the world's second deepest diving vehicle in operation at the time, and the first since 1998 to explore Mariana Trench. The nearest is also the third vehicle in the world to reach the bottom of the Pacific Ocean Challenge of Deep, the deepest survey point in the global ocean but uh yeah so this this is what happened to the nearest nearest we lost it and i will end uh, my lecture on stephen hawking's book saying artificial intelligence will be the best or worst thing to happen to humanity we don't know which so thank you and please let me know if you have any questions. You can write them in the comments or WhatsApp me, email me, let me know. Cheers!